Right now, um, I was surprised, but uh, I mean, I get a lot of emails, and Judge Owen, um, he literally had dementia. So how much is him, how much does the government take advantage of him, is, is hard to say. But um, before there was only one article about him having dementia, and I, literally it would be a joke. Um, because I was contempt of court, not in, in prison actually for a crime, I would have to go to court in, in a suit and tie. And he would actually forget who I was. Um, I would have to, because I'm arguing for myself, I didn't, you know, you're not really entitled to lawyers in a civil case. And he would forget. He'd go, oh, counselor, counselor, you're, you're arguing admirably for your client, but you're, you're going too far. And when I would leave, the marshal would go, oh, you're the lawyer. I said, no, I'm the defendant. He forgot again. And now there's a lot of articles uh, all about Judge Owen, all over the Internet, that he's dementia and, and it's uh, what do you do about judges that have lost their mind. And he's number one being cited throughout the United States. So it's not just, I think maybe the, the movie has caused that. So now it's, it's uh, being more openly talked about. Uh, because it, it really, you get some of these judges, he was appointed by Richard Nixon. And they're there for life. It's as if they are above all law. They don't get human frailties uh, that everybody else does. So it, so that's like another topic that that it's not necessary in the movie. You know, how do you put it in without really dealing with it? But um, I mean, he would. One of the things that you know uh, to me would, would have been maybe a scene, perhaps for a fiction movie or something. But you have to understand how the system works. There are lawyers that practice in that town. They will not challenge a judge. Because if they do, then the other judges are going to you know, prejudice them. And I learned that right at the beginning because they were all talking about Judge Owen and how, he's, uh, how this, they can't get anywhere because of the receivers, his old his, uh, law clerk. And, and So I said to them, I said, well, why don't you move to recuse him? And this was at Tenzer Greenblatt at the time, and they turned to me and they said, oh, our firm would never move to recuse a judge. So you have to realize it's their self-interest against yours. They're not going to defend you all the way to the hilt because if it's going to hurt their firm, they stop. So I didn't mind going forward. I said, fine, I'll go by myself. It's, I don't really care. And because I'll do things, I knew the law, and so the one scene I thought would be really good, but uh, didn't fit into the movie, was when I challenged them for changing the transcripts. I put in an affidavit with every transcript he changed. Now, if I'd lied, you can put me in prison for five years for each lie. Okay? I put it in under penalty of perjury. And that day in court, um, hundreds of people showed up. I was like, what's going on? They said, it's you. I said, what? You can't accuse a judge of a federal crime. I said, well, you all say he does it. What's he going to do to me? I don't really care. Um, but it backfired on me. Not being a lawyer, I don't have to comply with the rules that a lawyer does. If a lawyer is going to put somebody, uh, bring in witnesses, he has to give a list who the witnesses are going to be that day and what they're going to say, and the judge is going to decide whether they can take the stand. I'm not a lawyer. I'm pro se. I don't have to do that. So I'm a real wild card. He knows there were press there all the time. I've put in an affidavit saying you've changed all these transcripts. Now he doesn't know maybe I have somebody I'm going to call to the stand. So he got scared, and um, he said, well, perhaps I put in a comma, perhaps I put in a dash, but I don't recall changing anything material. The whole place went dead silent. And when I, he refused to recuse himself, 
but he admits committing a crime. And as I'm, I'm walking out, all these lawyers are going, oh my God, you got a federal judge to admit he committed a crime. They were, everybody was stunned. But he had no choice, because he didn't know what I had behind me. If I was a lawyer, no lawyer would ever do that to a judge. So to me, that was a very important scene. <laughs> it's not in the movie, but um, it was legally very, very important because, I mean, hundreds of people, that, that courtroom, they were in the hallways waiting to see what was going to happen because uh, nobody has ever accused a federal judge of that. And the Court of Appeals, when I went up and said, okay, fine, he admitted it, denied. They refused to even look at it.